um, PNG, 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 or or this. Let's just add that. Uh, add file to book. It's a video file. All right, let's add the book to the library. Okay. Browse library. We have two things now. Same title but different ISBN. Now, if we open this, it's Chris Brown. Open this, and we get. We get an exception. Let's see what the exception is. Takes us here. Takes us here. It says array index out of bounds. Jeez, 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 Louise. What does it mean, array index out of bounds? Ah. Oh. Um, oh, sorry about that. Yeah, just make sure this is no, this is three, not two. That's supposed to be three, not two. Now let's run our application again. So many errors. Ah, uh, Testing this out, just making sure everything is good. Now let's add the book. Good. It's here. See, it's as you guys can see. This is uh, in the video. This is in the video because video uh, column because well, it ends with an MP4. And this is in the sounds because it ends with an MP3. And I really couldn't care less right now about you know not them being on the same column ah uh, doesn't really matter I don't really care let's try adding another one Fergie add file to book let's try uh, another one for, just for good measure we now have three books in the library yes we do open Open, okay. Big girls don't cry right there. And this thing has nothing. If you cry, let's try sorting them out, see if they're still the same. Good. Good. Okay, so far everything is good. Everything's good. Everything's working just the, exactly the way we want it to work. And um, there might have been some, some stuff that I didn't show. Yeah, th I think there might have been some stuff that I didn't show. Uh, if so, just download the source code that is attached in the very first video of this playlist. Again, the source code for the entire project. I mean, the, uh, the, the most recent source code for the entire uh, project up to now, after this video is in the first video of this playlist so if something is wrong with uh, with the code that you have now just download that source code and everything should be working fine because I think I, I, I didn't show some stuff and I do apologize for that but I'm pretty sure I did but just in case that your application the version of the application is not working just well download my version All right. The next thing we're gonna do is we wanna we wanna open these these uh, files in this table whenever we click open. And we'll we'll leave delete for some other time. It's uh, it's very very it's it's almost exactly the same. We're gonna be just copying and pasting code from the code that we use in open. I'm just using that in the delete. It's changing a couple of things. I'm not gonna do that right now because. Well, I really couldn't care less for it, so uh, I'm gonna stop once I'm once once I'm done with uh, with this open method. I'm just gonna stop for now for a while and 
yeah, I mean, I only have Camtasia for eight more days, so I'm probably just going to stop here, but I'm pretty sure that you guys can implement the delete buttons on your own. I mean, really, once you, uh, if you were following everything up to now, you should be able to easily to implement the delete buttons because really you're just manipulating an array list and then so we're just gonna do find this find the selected book in the in the uh, library and then once you find that just pop up pop it off because remember our library is just a list of books and we're using an array list uh, to implement the list interface and an array list has a method called pop or something pop off the stack anyway it's just, uh, or or delete or remove just use that method to delete the book in the in the list and then uh, and then refresh and then set the uh, set the data book which is our string vector for our book table just refresh that with our new library that does not have the deleted does not have this deleted thing, this deleted book right here that you just deleted, and then yeah, you're pretty much done. You've reloaded it, and uh, you're good. Just call reload. So basically, just delete the book, find book, delete it, then reload the data book, and you're basically implemented a delete button. And just do the same thing, very similar for the uh, the book. Again, I'm not going to show that. I'm not even going to do it right now. I don't have the code ready. <laughs> I just couldn't care less right now. I'm developing another. I'm developing a game, and I really want to get on that. So I'm just going to leave this delete button for you guys. Really easy. Trust me. It's 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 really easy. That's why I'm not even going to do it. Anyways, anyways, I digress. So let's do the last thing. Let's do the last thing before I call it quits with this project. I mean, you know, I basically completed the, we basically completed the whole thing. This is working. Everything is working. And we're going to make this work, this open button right now. I'll just leave the delete buttons to you guys. All right? Okay. All right, let's get uh, let's get this uh, this button working right now. Without further ado, finally, let's go on over here. Get button open file. So what we're going to do is just create a method here. Open file. And we're just going to copy and paste this. Copy row. We need the row. We don't need the ISBN. Instead of a book, we need a vim. Call it v. Okay. Instead of book table, it's going to be a file table. Get selected row. And in here, it's going to be. We're not going to force it to be three. We're going to uh, file table, get selected column. That's going to be the column. Spell this correctly. We don't need this. Actually, we do. Let's just say string file name, right? And we're just going to set the file name to this. Again, this is supposed to be file table. Now that we have the file name, all we're going to do is get the uh, v equals uh, 